Hi, I'm Luis Ortiz on behalf of Expert Village, and uh, I'm back to show you. Uh, I started a video and showed you a basic breading procedure and uh, the order that we're going to use these items so that we can deep fry some fish. Uh, I've got a couple of farm raised catfish fillets here. It's uh, just your basic run of the mill variety, but it'll it'll give you a good example and show you how to uh, how to pull this off efficiently. Um, instead of uh, frying whole fillets, it tends to uh, take a little bit longer and a lot of folks don't want to leave their food in the oil that long because it gives them the feeling that it's more unhealthy and all those kinds of things. So to just cook it more efficiently, I tend to cut it into smaller pieces. So what I like to do is just kind of go down the medial line with my utility knife here and cut this catfish into uh, some smaller pieces and just kind of keep them uniform. I know a fillet is different thicknesses all the way through, but uh, that's one of the reasons that I actually like cutting it into smaller pieces is simply because they're not all going to cook at the same rate. So when you cook them smaller pieces this way, it tends to come out a little more even for you. Um, now, as I mentioned in the previous video, um, I didn't want to put a bunch of seasonings in the flour because I've, from past experience, they tend to just get kind of lost. So it's always better to just season the, uh, the protein item directly and then start your breading procedure. So I've got some uh, garlic salt here that I'm going to hit with them first. I've got some black pepper here, which you always need. Okay, and I'll be doing this to both sides. I've got some sea salt in my salt grinder here which is always nice. We'll just turn these guys over. And we're gonna do the same song, second verse. And I'm not just covering these guys. They're really not gonna need it. And if you're Cajun, you might wanna throw some cayenne. It's up to you. So I'll throw some more sea salt on the other side of this. So these guys are seasoned and ready to go. First and foremost, I've got just some plain all-purpose flour here in this bowl. Again, there's no seasoning in it. So I'm going to put them in the flour first. From there, we're going to go into our milk and our egg wash. Okay, I use some low-fat milk and I beat an egg in there. And this is going to make it real nice and gummy so that the last part of the breading procedure is going to stick on there real nice. I'm going to move over to my seasoned breadcrumbs, and these are just store-bought seasoned breadcrumbs. And I'm paying close attention not to put a bunch of fingerprints on these while I bread them. I'm just doing it real nice and gentle so that I get even coverage. And the idea behind this is that the last breading procedure that you have here, the final product that you put on the end, has something to bind to. And uh, it's the binding agent is actually the flour and the milk and the egg wash so that it all holds together. And what happens is you're going to drop it in that oil and the breading and everything will stay intact and it'll keep your food on the inside nice and moist so that when you bite into it some steam comes out of there and you've, you've provided like a jacket with this breading. So we did flour first, we did a milk and an egg wash and then we did some seasoned breadcrumbs. Now another variation on this theme and some people like thick breading and some people like thin breading. So we're going to do flour again. And again, these were seasoned already. And we're going to move over to our milk and our egg wash. And then we're going to go over here to our cornmeal mix. And you don't have to just do two pieces at the time. You could use a bigger bowl and toss a bunch of pieces of fish all at once. That's fine too. But for today's intents and purpose, I'm just showing you smaller pieces and smaller amounts so that you get a good idea of what I'm doing here. And there's that. Yet another way we could do this, if you like this, is you just go straight into here. We've already got our fish seasoned. And actually this fish mix, this cornmeal mix, which I told you is store-bought, is already seasoned also. So we're going to get a double shot of seasonings here and we're just going to put it directly on there. Okay, this is going to create a different effect and I'll show you these once I finish cooking them. All right? So, in the, uh, as I said, this is the basic three-part breading procedure. This will work for vegetables as well as proteins. And I'll come back to you here in a little bit and show you the finished products.